Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the evolution of affirmative action. And we're fortunate to have with us this morning to talk about the evolution of affirmative action, uh, Dr. Kelly Sanford. Uh, Dr. Kelly Sanford is the, uh, in the uh, political, I'm sorry, Dr. Sanford, in the uh, Department of Sociology mm -hmm. uh, at Tennessee State University. And of course, uh, with uh, Dr. Sanford uh, is Ms. Laverne Walker. Uh, Ms. Walker is a former affirmative action officer, and of course, uh, Dr. Sanford and uh, Ms. Walker, let me welcome both of you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you so much. And uh, to talk about a, a, a very, very controversial topic, mm -hmm. uh, and that is affirmative action, mm -hmm. and, but I think that uh, we'll have an opportunity today with the uh, knowledge that the two of you bring to uh, this particular topic to uh, talk about how uh, this whole idea of affirmative action, that is, uh, having what might be called a level playing field, mm -hmm. how this uh, 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 whole uh, concept evolved. And, yeah. and, and uh, Dr. Sanford, let's uh, start off by uh, having you, and then after you, uh, Ms. Walker, to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of bringing you here, and, yeah. as well as Ms. Walker, and then we'll uh, get into affirmative action and how uh, it has evolved. Okay, very good. And I would like to thank you again for having us both here today. This is a very important issue. Mm -hmm. I am, again, E. Kelly Sanford, Associate mm -hmm. Professor in the Department of Sociology at Tennessee mm -hmm. State University. Mm -hmm. And prior to being there, I was at Austin P., the, actually the chair of the Department of Sociology mm -hmm. there at the University of Montana prior to that and mm -hmm. did a postdoc at Pennsylvania State mm -hmm. University. I'm very proud of getting my doctorate degree at Howard University mm -hmm. and then out of North Carolina Central University. Mm -hmm. One of my research areas are indeed in the area of race ethnic relations, mm -hmm. medical sociology, mm -hmm. political sociology, mm -hmm. and family. Very good. Yes. Uh, Ms. Walker. Well, I originally came from Charleston, South Carolina, mm -hmm. and I ended up in Tennessee with my degree from Fisk University good. in sociology. Mm -hmm. And I went west to mm -hmm. Albuquerque, New Mexico and started mm -hmm. my career there as a social worker mm -hmm. and transposed those skills into human resources skills mm -hmm. in the aerospace industry in California. Mm -hmm. um, I rose from employment representative to employment administrator mm -hmm. to manager of equal employment opportunity affirmative mm -hmm. action diversity there at Northrop Grumman. Mm -hmm. And uh, leaving Northrop Grumman I came to Clarksville to be the director of affirmative action there at the university. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so both of you have been involved with affirmative action for quite a while. Is that, uh, uh, Dr. Sanford, what we'd like to do as we uh, explain uh, to the audience this morning, Ms. Walker, uh, what we'd like to do is to talk about uh, affirmative action. And mm -hmm. let's have the two of you uh, with the knowledge that you have <coughs> uh, during this first, the part of this first segment and of course do it going into yeah. the second segment to talk about uh, uh, what uh, we mean when we talk about the evolution of affirmative action. Okay. Exactly what are we talking about? Okay. Well, when I talk about this issue on affirmative action, I always like to put it into a historical context. Mm -hmm. And I think in many instances we have some misconceptions about this affirmative action policy because mm -hmm. the general public, even educators and lawyers, mm -hmm. have a misconceived notion about the historical backdrop of it. Mm -hmm. um, we've come out here in America of 244 years of African enslavement, 81 years of Jim Crow laws, mm -hmm. leading into a segregation movement that then led us into the need to have this so-called equal opportunity mm -hmm. or a fair opportunity of access. Mm -hmm. And throughout that first 100 years, I would say around 1640 mm -hmm. is quite unusual, but Dr. Kenneth Stamp mm -hmm. in his book entitled The Peculiar Institution mm -hmm. looked at this 1640 as a time when indentured servitude was present here in America. Mm -hmm. And at that time, in a unique way, mm -hmm. they started to look at people of African descent mm -hmm. in a different way because of pigmentation. Mm -hmm. And from that time on, mm -hmm. leading into the Dred Scott case of 1857, mm -hmm. the Civil War, mm -hmm. leading into another landmark Supreme Court decision mm -hmm. of 1896 with Plessy versus Ferguson mm -hmm. that made things so-called separate and equal, and mm -hmm. we all know it was indeed mm -hmm. unequal, mm -hmm. that then led to one of the shows that you've done mm -hmm. in depth 
1954 Brown versus Board of Education. Mm -hmm. And it was out of that time period that Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King galvanized the country into mm -hmm. this civil rights movement mm -hmm. that brought about a lot of change. Mm -hmm. And with that, people were coming to the mm -hmm. table, mm -hmm. trying to give some thought to how can we give some type of opportunity mm -hmm. to those that had historically been denied mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and, and of course, uh, uh, Dr. Sanford, uh, we're getting ready for our first commercial break. Now, uh, Ms. Walker, when we come back, we're, we're going to have about uh, eight or ten minutes. And, and we want you to uh, sort of, within the same context that uh, Dr. Sanford has uh, laid out, to give some statements in reference to affirmative action. And then we'll have an opportunity to talk about how it evolved. And uh, that way we'll be able to uh, sort of pull all of this together at the end of our third segment. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The topic is the...